hi welcome now i am going to show you how to replace the uh, h lookup the horizontal lookup uh, with uh, some product function okay so what i have here is the set of country data which is in horizontal order and the respective sales you can see the country name and sales country name and sales and so on okay similarly i have uh, about uh, 247 uh, countries okay so uh, and their respective sales okay what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to uh, write a function first the using the uh, formula using the horizontal lookup to look for a country and uh, uh, to bring out its uh, sales okay so the country probably i'll put a vietnam uh, okay vietnam okay for this vietnam i am going to bring the respective sales using the horizontal lookup first then after that i will show to you how to use the some product function to get the same result so that we can replace uh, horizontal lookup uh, in any of the formulas using the some product okay so why 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 do we want to replace the horizontal lookup with uh, some product it is up to you whether to use it a uh, horizontal lookup i i i'm here to show you how to replace it with some product because some product is more flexible in terms of uh, uh, sending arrays inside and uh, checking for more multiple uh, internal criteria as arrays okay so uh, now uh, what i'm going to do is i'll show you that uh, how to use a uh, horizontal lookup now okay now uh, what i have here is uh, i'm going to check uh, horizontal lookup okay horizontal lookup uh, got a uh, lookup value which is uh, uh, for this uh, particular formula we want to look it up the vietnam uh, okay which is in the cell a9 okay the table array table array is nothing but uh, this set of data okay uh, which is a uh, country as well as the sales but uh, we must make sure the the lookup value is the country then the country country row must be in the first uh, first row of the selection uh, okay in other words it will look for this vietnam in the first topmost row not the second or third row okay here we already given the first row is the country the topmost row is the country 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 name so so it is okay if the country name is in the second row and the sales in the first row we need to modify the data into first row is the country name and second second row is the sales because this is the requirement by the horizontal lookup that uh, in that by definition it will look only the top topmost row okay the lookup value will be looked up in the topmost row okay so i will select all the records I, the records in horizontal that's why we are using a horizontal lookup if the records in the vertical order then we we might have wor worked with the vertical lookup which is v lookup okay so after the table row table array is given lookup value and the table array is given now row index number what is row index number okay if this lookup value is found in the topmost row of uh, uh, this particular uh, table array what is the column or in this case what is the row you value you want to return back i want to return back the second row which is sales i want the sales of this looked up value okay vietnam sales so sales is in the second row so this row index number is two okay next uh, what is the range lookup range lookup is do you want the approximate match or you want a exact match i want the exact match which is false you can also put zero okay enter now you can see it is 225 okay the value is the sales okay actually it brings the 
sales okay okay so our objective is to bring the sales so uh, we are bringing in the sales so for vietnam the uh, hlookup is bringing the value 2 to 5 okay we will generalize it for all the countries how to do that i will put it put a list box here so that we can keep uh, uh, keep selecting some other uh, country names and uh, see whether it is working fine data uh, okay the uh, the data data validation okay you must have ch selected the country cell okay then uh, list a low list in the data validation then uh, what is the full set of countries okay which is in the horizontal order now press ok then you can see the full list of s countries are in the list box then you can select any country you want australia and see the respective uh, sales for example you we will check for austria 905 okay so we will check austria austria 905 okay okay this is the way you can build up your uh, horizontal lookup and uh, get the sales value okay how can we get the same result using a sum product okay sum product is something like i will explain to you first what is this function is all about okay sum product we have uh, two arrays array one okay and uh, array two probably i will use this part okay never mind okay now array one array two I have one, two, and three, three values, for example, okay. Three values, and uh, here array two, I got uh, si three values. Uh, okay, sum product is nothing, but it will do the sum. If we pass the array one and array two into your sum product what it will do it will take the first two elements then it will multiply those elements okay in this case first element of array one into first element of array two okay similarly for each uh, corresponding elements it will multiply two into six twelve three into seven twenty one finally it will add all the all the products that is why it is called sum of products it will product the corresponding elements then it will add okay what is the sum sum of all this okay you you can see now okay 37 okay so the products will be here then it will add okay now uh, we will check the sum product of these two arrays is it the same 37 sum product sum product function okay of array 1 comma array 2 close the bracket enter 37 you see is the same answer okay this is the way the uh, sum product works for the beauty of sum product is this is uh, array and this is array two arrays we are sending it the array itself is a uh, conditions uh, set of conditions that can be done you, you, using a sum product you can send a array a criteria itself you can send it as a array okay what do you mean by criteria you can check uh, this value is greater than 2 or less than 2 or uh, whatever condition you can make it as a condition send it inside a uh, some product 
only thing is you must make sure that the array is not purely true or false instead you must convert that one to zero and ones okay just keep this tip in your mind then we will go here what we have is the set of countries here okay uh, now what i'm going to do is uh, i will i will i i i'm going to do a, a particular uh, logic now then i will come to a some product function okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to check uh, each uh, sales value here uh, no each uh, country name here with the country given country name austria okay so now our objective is vietnam right okay then we'll select this uh, to vietnam okay vietnam okay so we are going to check each uh, uh, country name here is equal to the given country how to do that now uh, we are going to check the given country is going to be here a9 right so is it equal to what we are going to do is that uh, country equal to a9 or not okay this is what our uh, objective now okay we are going to check this one how can we check we can simply use the conditional operator this is a it is equal to is a formula equal to i am telling i am writing a formula okay that's why i am putting this equal to then what i am going to do whether this value here b1 the country name is equal to a9 i'll get true or false is absolutely false okay then again this value and a9 okay i'm going to check for every country name here whether it is a, a a9 value or not which is vietnam or not okay so i shift the formula but when we shift the formula it is also shifting instead of a9 it is putting b9 okay but uh, the value c1 is correct but b b9 is wrong is shifting the relative value i want a9 here so what i'm going to do i just uh, make the formula not a relative absolute in the a9 part by putting a dollar sign okay so whenever you shift the formulas the formula will also shift relatively the other cells those cells you don't want to shift you must make a dollar sign okay this is called absolute re reference in the formula this side is a relative reference because in this position it is b1 next cell when you write the formula when you shift the formula we want not b1 we want c1 but uh, right hand side of the formula we always stick to a9 so we put a dollar a dollar nine okay okay let's go to our work now okay when you move now the a a9 is not shifting you see only the left hand side is shifted to c1 okay then d1 e1 everything we are checking with the whether it's vietnam or not okay this one is fine then oh yes true for vietnam it is true the other countries it is false okay right so similarly you can go for all the countries is about 247 countries the full set of record okay up to zimbabwe all are false okay only vietnam is true okay so now what i'm going to do not only i uh, this array i want uh, false i want i want to make this false into zero and true as one okay that's that's my objective now to make because i cannot send uh, this array as it is to my some product i cannot use it because it's true and false but i want this to be zero and ones how can i do this uh, okay uh, this formula i just make it i'm checking it okay we can change any value to true and false by applying a double unary operator what is double unary operator minus minus 
okay so i just apply minus minus of this value you see it becomes zero false is zero okay true is one okay so if you apply double unary operator it will automatically change the true and false to zero uh, one and zero okay false is zero true is one okay and now since we made this is a zero and ones array you can see where the vietnam is present there the value is one right but other sales uh, for other countries it's zero if uh, so if i do the product of this array with uh, this sales array what uh, what i will get i will get a zero for the sales value is zero for all other countries except vietnam vietnam i will get the 225 the sales okay so what i will do i will do the product now okay this row i do product these are all uh, three different uh, rows so i give some color so that you will know okay and uh, okay now you can know okay now the product product row is uh, nothing but uh, this sales value into the double unary of the checked value okay which is nothing but uh, zero for zero afghanistan zero only for vietnam it becomes the only for vietnam it becomes the sales value the other sales value is or zeros okay so if i sum this one this all is a product of these two rows if i sum this one what will happen sum of up to this sum of all these products product of what sales and the checking array okay we will get is nothing but the vietnam sale okay the sum will bring the vietnam sale what is this sum and uh, this is nothing but product of these two arrays i just hide uh, this country check okay these two arrays product of these two arrays is this okay then uh, if i add this i will get the vietnam sale that means what I, I if i send uh, these two arrays into my sum product function then the sum products function will bring up the sum of products which is this array some the final sum is sales of vietnam okay so how can i do that using the same logic sum product okay so some product of first array is nothing but the sales array okay okay the first array is a sales array for this some product okay and uh, now i will go for second array okay second array is nothing but a double unary array okay what is that array double unary array okay so i just uh, select this okay 
this is w unary so this array is with the w unary and uh, this is nothing but a checking of every country name with the given country vietnam okay so how do we do that it's a country name the whole set of country name okay equal to the given country vietnam okay so this is the second array this is going to be the full set of country name each country is going to check with the value given value vietnam so it is going to be an array of uh, true and false okay one so it is false 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 for first element it is false second element false so it is going to be a set of true or false uh, it's something like this 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 array okay so it is going to be a set of array which is nothing but a false 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 five false then true then all are false okay something like that so it's a set of for true or false okay then we are applying double unary to make it a zero and ones so this will become a array of this zero and ones where only the vietnam will have one the other elements are zero okay so this array and this array we multiply th here the product like this okay the product product line here the so this and this multiply with this will get the answer like this so all products are like a zero 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 but only for vietnam it will have 225 when you sum all the products finally you will get to 225 which is only the vietnam's product okay hope you can understand okay now when you select for other other uh, probably for albania or albania we horizontal lookup also brings out 1921 and uh, some product is also 1921 you can see the array changed to for albania it, the condition become true so the w unary becomes uh, one so the other elements are uh, changed to zero but uh, only for albania and the sales value remains so when you have the product to be added automatically others are zero so you will get albania's sales value okay so it is very interesting example but uh, you just uh, give some time to understand the logic if you find the logic uh, uh, if you understood the logic then uh, what uh, it is it will help you to add more arrays in your formulas and work on with uh, you know different kind of conditions and to bring out any value okay but uh, this is also having a restriction uh, from uh, uh, horizontal lookup because uh, this value the returning value is playing with the product so the returning value must be a number okay if you are using a, a horizontal lookup with uh, for uh, some text then you cannot use this logic to bring that text it will be some other way you, you must find a, a alternative method to bring that one okay so hope uh, this example is uh, helpful to you as a starting point to how to replace uh, horizontal lookups with the sum product function okay probably before we close uh, check for zimbabwe which is horizontal lookup brings uh, 1680 some product also brings uh, 1680 and uh, the zimbabwe result is 1680 okay the sum product overall sum is 6680 uh, hope you like my videos and uh, if you like uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, you leave your comments and suggestions and god bless you